I was standing in my classroom teaching one of my many digital marketing courses through UC Berkeley. My students were taking my classes to learn about marketing best practices to brand, build, and boost business. It was a week before the final projects were due. Since my students were professionals, entrepreneurs, business leaders, I thought instead of some generic, boring final project, I would give my students full reign to claim their education and to make this final project something that they could truly put into practice to benefit themselves personally or professionally. There were so many ways they could approach this. They could work on personal branding as doing things as simple as optimizing their LinkedIn profiles. They could create a social media strategy or optimize their website or look at an audit of all of their marketing to get more out of their time and money and budget. There were so many possibilities. And I thought my students would be so excited and I looked out and I saw nothing but stressed and overwhelmed faces. I knew I had to break down whatever ick yuck negative marketing mojo that was going on in their heads and move them into breakthroughs and fast. To stop stress and move into success, I had to provide clarity. And I thought there was no better way than to go back to the basics of marketing. I walked over to my laptop and we pulled up the definition of marketing on Google. And you can search and find something very similar, if not identical to this today. Promoting, selling, advertising. This is a very old school and very nearsighted way to think about and approach marketing. And it's no wonder that we often get stressed or overwhelmed. We need to think about marketing in a new way. So, knowing that success comes in cans, failure comes in cans, I thought back to all of my work over the years and in my 30 plus year career in sales and marketing, working for corporations and my former life as a teacher, now running a long time marketing agency, I have found what keeps great people and great companies from having great marketing success is often rooted simply in the way that we think about and approach marketing. We can have tremendous success, but we have to have a happier and healthier relationship with marketing. And it begins by redefining marketing. I remember the first time I introduced the concept of marketing to my class. It's not a typo. <laughs> it's a mashup of the words marketing and education. Instead of the old school way of pushing and promoting and selling, why not think about marketing in a way where you're being of service and you're supporting and you're educating ideal audiences, which is a more relaxed way to approach marketing that actually starts to pull in ideal audiences. Think of education as your guiding light. Education becomes your way to bridge strategy and solutions, choosing what to do and when to do it and even how to do it to support sales. Speaking of sales, would you walk into a crowded bar and walk up to the first person you meet and say, hi, do you want to get married? And expect to have a successful result? Probably not. Just like in dating, in marketing, you have to date first in order to find that perfect relationship. It's a process. Sales funnel tunnel vision, as I like to call it, is an area that starts to get us tripped up in the name of sales. There's this myopic, nearsighted thought that visibility, the awareness, is naturally gonna get us to sellability. And that's not how it goes. Think about any relationship. 
there's the connection, but it has to happen first with some communication. And if we spend more time nurturing our sales funnel and communicating with clarity, then we start to build those connections. And when we communicate clearly, those connections equal conversions. So we have visibility, but we have to build credibility to get there. Stanford University did a research project years ago called the Web Credibility Guideline Study. And they found that one of the biggest pieces of our marketing puzzle to help people know us, like us, and trust us is actually found on the About page of our website. Believe it or not, that's the most visited page of a website other than the home page. People want to know who we are, what we do, whom we serve, who's behind the company. Storytelling supports selling. Have you heard the old saying, if you want to be interesting, be interested? In today's new rules of marketing, it's also okay to be interesting, to get people to be interested in you. It's not being braggadocious. You're just educating. All communication is, is education, and this is the critical piece in your selling process. According to expert sources like HubSpot, it takes an average of seven touch points to make a sale. So instead of thinking of all of the focus on visibility, when we spend more time nurturing and creating great service and good usability and credibility, we naturally start to pull in more sales. This poor little cupcake, it went into the oven and clearly is missing some critical ingredients. Another area where we are missing out when it comes to maximizing our marketing is baking our marketing cake out of order. And we're putting too much onus on the tools. This little piece of parchment paper is not going to make marketing rise or the cupcake rise. And neither will the tools, they're just tools. Websites, search, advertising, email, video, PR, they're all tools. And they're wonderful tools. They're often low cost and sometimes there's no cost ways to approach marketing, but the tools don't drive themselves. They require human brains to get behind the wheel and drive. And what makes these marketing tools delicious and nutritious? Content. Experts in the industry say that content is king. Authorities in the industry understand that content is the whole entire kingdom. Content is your marketing super ingredient to brand build and boost business. Ask yourself these two simple questions. Who are your ideal customers? And what do you need to help your audience understand? Two simple questions. We asked a client of ours who came to us for marketing optimization. They weren't sure if they were spending their time or money well, who their ideal customers were. And this was a winery. And they said, our customers, high net worth, they're foodies, they love to travel, they obviously love wine, but particularly they love organic wine. And they are more wellness focused. What do you want to help them understand? Well, the founders had a background in hospitality. They left that industry to study winemaking, went to Europe, fell in love with organic practices, brought these practices back to the winery. And I said, great, let's start unpacking all of your marketing assets. We hit the homepage. The rule of the homepage is it needs to say immediately who you are, what you do, and whom you serve, clearly. I said, well, I don't see anything about organic. They're like, oh, that's because the organic seal is on the footer of our website in the deep, dark, fiery pits of their website. And I said, okay, well, that's fine where it's at, but we need to use that language more, more immediately. What else are we doing with marketing? And they showed us their email newsletter, which was gorgeous, this gorgeous piece of content they created every month, personal letter from the founders, beautiful photography of the winemaking, new products. The average open rate was what their open rate was, and it was around 20 to 30%, which meant that all of this effort was being lost on a majority of their opt-in list. So instead of going out and looking at new tools, we just repurposed what they already had. Repurposing the imagery, 
the product descriptions. They actually had recipes in the newsletter. That became a whole piece of their blog. And so content became this new way to educate their audience and pull in ideal customers, including building relationships with their existing customers, because our best clients are often our existing clients. Anytime you feel stressed out about marketing, take a chill pill. And as leaders, remember that you don't have to do it all yourselves. You can do what you do best, and you can hire others to do the rest. Just as education becomes your new guiding light, remember that as you're hiring help, employees, contractors, vendors, make sure that the folks you are engaging are also educating you. Believe it or not, so many marketing service providers are in that old school way where they're trying to sell you their services, right? Their social media, their SEO, but they're actually not talking to you about the solutions that you may need. So education out, but make sure that you're getting educated as well. Happy, healthy marketing equals wealthy organizations. Marketing becomes a life-lasting success strategy. And I trademarked it so you can't steal it. The only constant in our business life is change. We're going to have new competitors. There's going to be new tools and opportunities at our fingertips. Economy has going to have shifts. But education never goes out of style. And when that becomes the heart of your marketing, everything falls into place. There is an art of marketing. There is a science of marketing. Education is coming from a place of heart. I believe wholeheartedly that we are paid equally to how well we are willing to think and able to think, and we are paid equally in sales to how well we are able to educate our ideal audiences. I see very smart marketing in your future. Thank you.